What's up people, welcome back. Well I was asked to once again take a look at Elementary OS Freya, the final product. I did take a look at the beta some time ago. According to the Elementary OS website, this is a replacement for your Windows operating system. Is that true? Well I can tell you in complete confidence, I'm not sure. Alright, welcome back. Let me just say first of all, after playing with this uh, since yesterday or last night, this is an absolutely beautiful, well-polished Linux-based operating system. I can see why this would be popular with, you know, the Linux community and some Windows users. It is terrific to look at. Uh, I wear contact lenses usually and I like, I love the use of the icons, the white space and the whole setup and I'll show you that in a moment. But this is the default desktop here. I did change the wallpaper and added some specific apps that I need to do what I do. All right, let's start at the top right. Of course, your power, system settings, and some other options here. Nothing unusual. Networking. I installed Clementine. I had some issues running that. I'll get to that in a moment. I do like the sound player, sound menu integration. You have your sound settings here. Let's take a look at this and see what we have. If you have messed around with Ubuntu-based operating systems, this should come as no surprise. Again, if you're coming from a Windows environment, uh, I don't think you'll have a problem with this. Right-click here to close. I installed Kazam. Hopefully, it won't freeze. I installed both Kazam and VocoScreen. I had problems with both. So I'm crossing my fingers this time. It'll work fine. The panel has a nice transparency effect. Very nice. Now, a couple of things here I wish this had. And I realized this was not designed for that. I would love the ability to right click on the screen and you know go into wallpaper, change wallpaper and some other settings. I would love the ability on the panel to change that too, such as I would do in say Ubuntu Mate. Now this was not designed for that and that's fine. I'm just telling you what I wished this had. All right, of course, the, uh, the time and the date. The start button, if you want to call it that, is the applications menu. I believe this is called the slingshot menu. Let's see here. You can change this, how this looks from this list here or this grid here. This kind of reminds me of a smartphone main screen, and that's fine. I think it looks terrific. I love the use of white space. These are your default apps here, some of them at least. I installed, let's see, Clementine, uh, Kazam. Uh, let's go to page two or part two of this. I installed the Synaptic Package Manager for me at least is a must. Probably not something for beginners, at least not yet. I installed a Task Manager. We're using about 600 megabytes. I guess that's about right running the screencaster. And let's see what else did I install here. And Vocal Screen, as I stated, I had problems with screencasting. Uh, with this operating system. So hopefully now this will work just fine. You can search a search bar here at the top, for example, music, and it'll give you op uh, options there. Let's see, one plus, well, one equals one plus 10. Yeah, build search bar. Cool. I kind of like that. Okay, you have this plank, this bar here at the bottom, panel bar rather. I won't go into all of these, but just hovering over this, you have Multitask View, the Midori um, web browser, Geary, Photos, System Settings, the Software Center Terminal, the Synaptic Package Manager, which I think is a must, and of course, Files. Let's go ahead and click that there real quick. All right, again, uh, if you're coming from a Windows environment, I don't think you'll have a problem navigating through this. Here's your tree here at the left, Home, Documents, and you've seen this before, I'm sure. So I don't think I need to go into extensive talk about this here. Um, click here at the top right, and you can minimize that, or right click, close, or just click here, the icon at the bottom, and it's fully minimized there. So overall, very nice. Let's go to System Settings. All right, consider this your control panel, applications, desktop, language, so on and so forth. Um, as far as the wallpaper, I had to dig around briefly, but it is in the desktop icon here. Click that. 
Very nice selection of wallpapers, as you see here. Dock. Some options here, normal, normal and large. Uh, I would prefer maybe a customized slider function to change the size, but let's go back to uh, normal. There we go. Hot corners, uh, I chose not to enable those, uh, but it's certainly there if you want it. And a search here. Uh, if that works, does that work? Search settings, I guess that does not work there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and right click and close. Let's go to the Midori web browser, a very light web browser, really fast compared to, say, Firefox. All right, this is the uh, the elementary rather OS website, a fast and open replacement for Windows and OS X. Again, I love the use of white space. Wired says elementary is different, beautiful, and powerful. Runs well on even old PCs. Mac Life says fast, low maintenance platform that can be installed virtually anywhere. Lifehacker says lightweight and fast, completely community based, a real flair for appearances. I completely agree with all of this. Force download there. Let's go to the blog real quick here. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Looks like they've reached their first goal on Patreon. Congratulations. You guys deserve it. I know a lot of hard work. Looks like there's a shortcut here talking about uh, elementary OS on one of the Linux Action, Action Shows podcast. So definitely check it out. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Okay, archive and ask anything. Let's go to support real quick. Okay, some information here. If you're coming from Windows, you should definitely take a look at this. Help on installation, uh, frequently asked questions. How can I handle cloud storage? How to install user style and a bunch of, of other frequently asked questions. Looks like a total of 41 frequently asked questions. Definitely take a look at this if you're interested in elementary OS Freya. Okay, this looks terrific and it feels fine. A couple issues I had, for some reason, multimedia in Linux uh, seems to be a continual problem. That's one of the reasons why I had to, to get rid of Linux Mint 17.1. As soon as I started, started downloading, installing the specific apps, I need specifically multimedia apps. That operating system just didn't run right. Disappointing, I still recommend it for new users. As far as this goes, same thing, multimedia applications for me continue to be a problem, at least with some Linux-based operating systems. It seems to be a problem of getting the, the specific apps, in my case, multimedia apps, getting those specific apps to work properly with specific Linux-based operating systems. Uh, last night I was trying to run uh, the screencaster at the same time and it froze. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, I decided just to run the screencaster by it. appears to be running okay. I won't know till I stop this, play it back and make sure there's no choppiness in the sound or video. I know there are other um, screencasters you can certainly uh, check with this such as Simple Screen Recorder and a few others. The screen and Kazam because the look and feel and how they work, I think that would be the easier or the one of, or two of the easiest applications for Windows users coming to something like this. Again, I'm looking for something that's what I call click and go with well, not a lot of options or customizations, just, you know, click it, click that, and then, you know, click and go as I like to call it. Well, what about comparing this to um, Windows 8.1? Well, um, Windows 8.1 so far, so far, I know, you know, Microsoft released Windows 8.1 initially, and of course, Windows 10 will have the, the start button or the start menu come back. Absolutely, it should come back. For me, Windows 8.1 has been a pleasant surprise. I have no issues whatsoever with uh, blue screen crashes, zero. Uh, no issues with viruses, malware, zero. Maybe I should do a set of tutorials on that, on how to uh, make your Windows operating system as secure as Linux. And yes, it is possible. Applications, so far everything, absolutely everything I have installed in Windows 8.1 has worked 
out of the box, I have not had any issues with Windows 8.1 versus Linux, none whatsoever. Now, I, I know a lot of you uh, choose, cannot switch to Linux because the number one reason is gaming. Uh, certainly understandable. I don't, I used to be working for me, but so far for me, my number one issue with Linux is multimedia applications. And I think the only way to solve this is either elementary OS or Linux Mint or whoever, they should make their own exclusive set of multimedia applications, an exclusive multimedia suite. For example, the elementary OS multimedia suite, including a screen recorder or screen editor, you know, a screencaster and stuff like that, tested to work only in elementary OS. The same thing with Linux Mint and whoever else that you choose in terms of a Linux-based operating system. For me, multimedia applications and or compatibility with the Linux operating system, that seems to be my current issue. Putting that aside, okay, if you have an old Windows XP machine laying around, I think this is beautiful. And if you don't, if you don't do the stuff I do, such as multimedia production, then this is not an issue whatsoever. You should je definitely uh, check this out because this looks very, very nice. Congratulations to the team at EOS. This has been what two years in the making, and it shows very well done. Uh, will this be a replacement for me? No, at least not yet. Um, I currently dual boot with Ubuntu Mate and Windows 8.1. Ubuntu Mate so far, at least with the specific apps that I use, everything works out of the box. With this, definitely check it out. I give it a recommendation as long as you understand at least some of the issues that I had, but it may not matter to you or based on your hardware, you may not run into any of the, of the issues that I did and that's terrific. That is certainly possible. So as far as elementary OS, def check it out. At least it's worth a shot for you to download and try it out. You never know. Everything may work out of the box for you. Well, I hope this helps out with a comparison between this and Windows 8.1. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below in the show notes. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.